Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some new leak stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so first off, we do have a new pet that we can look at, so let's go ahead and do that. I believe it's called Arachex or something like that. Um, it is an evolution of Aracute, and it looks pretty cool. I haven't really looked at it that much, but I do know what it looks like. So here it is, it's called Arachops. And, um, I think this is a epic. Yeah, it's an epic. Or wait, no, I guess it's a heroic, not epic. Um, and I cannot view it on this account. I'm gonna pull it up on a different one. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It sort of looks like a scorpion. Um, it looks pretty good. It has a health of 1452, a power of 1162. Dodge of 980, defense of 762, and an order of 129, which I think is very high, although I'm not 100% sure. Um, its spells are Fireball, Whirlwind, Heat Wave, and Claw. So here is its attack animation, if you didn't see it. So it looks pretty cool. And we do also have some armor that we can look at as well. So, the first one that you'll notice here is the Fall Quartz Mask. So, this is based off of the mask that's already in the game. Um, it's just got renamed, and it now has a higher heart bonus. So, it's pretty much been in the game for a few years now. Probably at least five. Um, but it just got updated with a new name, and it says, Allows you to hide in a pile of leaves like fairies from the Autumn King's Court. So, it just got renamed. You've pretty much already seen it before, I would assume. Um, surprisingly, there were no new outfits added for this set. Maybe we'll get one of those soon. There was a new wand added. Um, I think that it should show here, yeah. So, we have the Autumn Lance, which says a magical lance given to the guards to watch over the Autumn King's court. So, uh, I don't know if the Autumn King is actually going to mean anything in um pumpkin fest because i assume this will be coming in pumpkin fest as one of the rewards for like um quests or maybe it'll just be in the pumpkin fest shop with candy corn i'm not really sure but this has a power bonus of 255 and it does autumn gust um that was the only one that was added we also did get a relic which I need to hack on to this account, I believe, yeah. Yeah, so here is the new relic. It's called the Fall Quartz Relic, and it looks like this, and it does Trap of Thorns, which is a new spell. Um, I don't really know how good it is. And it says, Fancy Relic worn by fairies of the noble blood that summon defensive thorns. So we also do have some new boots for this as well, which are called the Fall Court Boots. And these have a dodge bonus of 255. And it says, Leather Boots of the Highest Quality for the Fairy Lords and Ladies. So I believe that was all the items that were added. I don't think there are any buddies. Um, there weren't any new items, no currency. But we do also have a treasure track that we are going to be looking at. Um, one thing, it's not really that important, but the jack-o'-lantern, the L was not capitalized, it now is. But let's go ahead and look at some of these treasure track leaks now, because they are really cool. Alright, so here is the first one. This is a pet gear hat. So this is pet gear. And it looks really cool, as I said. Um, it looks like a trident. It has some gems or diamonds in the middle of it. And yeah, it looks pretty good. We also have this, which is another pet gear hat. This one I think is really cool as well. Um, this is based off of Hydroid, I think. It looks a lot like Hydroid. And yeah. Um, the theme of this treasure track is going to be water themed. We're going to get into the name of it a little later. Um, but moving on to another pet gear hat, we have this one, which looks like some dark coral, it looks like. We also have this one, which sort of goes along with, um, a leaked 
armor set that we have um with like the purple and these like yellow eyes i don't think it will be related though this one sort of looks like a squid and then we also have this which is a pecky relic nothing too interesting here it's just a compass we also have this one which was a rift Griptopus um quest item i believe back when you could get that like two years ago um there's also this one i don't know what it's supposed to be um it kind of looks like an underwater volcano maybe um but that's really the only thing that i could think it would be otherwise i don't have any idea now we also have this one which i think is supposed to be a harp um it looks pretty good and then we're going to get into the name of this treasure track which this is going to be called the sunken secrets treasure track um this is going to go from october to um november and or it's going to go through november um so this is what it's going to look like we have two wizards one has a um the like scuba diver set this one has uh, like the sail fin and uh, for some reason Kometi's here i didn't know that Kometi they had being able to go underwater this sort of looks like a tentacle that we would see in griptophus's head or something like that maybe we'll see griptophus as a um epic in this treasure track and this one is really interesting. So this is called Battle Pass FTUE um, screen for 2025 November. And this is called the Clouds of Mystery Treasure Track. I don't know if this is what the treasure track's ultimately going to look like. Because this is kind of weird that it would be called the Clouds of Mystery. Although it looks exactly like the Skywatch Gardens treasure track or whatever it was called that we had back in February, I think. So I don't know if this one is actually going to pretty much be the same thing. I don't really know. Um, now we also do have Battle Pass FTE screen for 2025 October. Maybe this will only run for one month and then we'll have this like mist cloud as a mystery or whatever it was called in November. And then this one will only be in October. We'll just have to see what happens there. But this is going to be something that you see when you click into the treasure track. Um, this one is called Quest uh, SS, which is for Sunken Secrets, I think it's called. October 2025. And this is just the background for quests. And then we have... October 2025 treasure track home screen background. So this is supposed to be the loading screen. They pretty much never use it. Again, we can see these um, tentacles that you would see on Griftophis, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's the Kemeti up here, as we had seen. And then what I think is really cool, there's um, a Glimmer Wing. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's called Shimmer Storm. Um, there's a Shimmer, Shimmer Storm uh, statue right here, which that would be really cool for us to see in-game, although I don't think that we will. We pretty much haven't gotten any house items or new house items inside of the treasure track in probably about a year. So I would not expect this to come as a house item, although I would really like it. And then the final week we have, this is just a Wizard Watch post that we're going to be seeing for the treasure track nothing too interesting here and then we do also have this this is called ui evolution screen this is new um i think that we're going to be getting a new screen for when we evolve a pet um it looks slightly different from the one we have now i'll actually go ahead and try it out to see if it is actually updated in game all right so here we go let's go ahead and see if this actually looks like a new background um not really so that was a waste of 30 magic coin maybe it will change in the future but for now it looks like it's still the same as it was but yeah that's pretty much everything that we have to look at today so that is going to go ahead and end up the video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and bye